we will see how we can find M augmenting paths using M alternating trees. We are going to follow quite closely the methods described in this book by Cook, Cunningham, Pulley, Blank, and Scriber. So we have a graph G and a matching M that is not perfect. And we pick an M exposed node and call it R. Here's the algorithm for building an M alternating tree rooted at R. So we begin by setting the tree to just be the root node. And we maintain two sets, E of t, called the even set. Initially, it has just the node R. And O of t, called the odd set, it has no nodes at the beginning. And we repeatedly do the following. We find a pair of edges, uv, vw, such that vw is in M, with u being in the even set, and v in neither the even set nor the odd set. And we add these two edges to t, and the node v is going to be added to the odd set, and w to the even set. We keep doing this until no pair of such edges can be found. So let's do an example. Suppose that this is my graph, and I'm going to mark the matching edges with double lines. And we're going to pick this node here as my root node. So at the beginning, T is just the node R. And I'm going to mark the nodes in the even set by blue and those in the odd set by red. Now we enter the loop and we can add this pair of edges to T. And so T now looks like this. This node is added to the even set and this node here is added to the odd set. Next, I can add this pair of edges to T. And so now my T looks like this. And this is now in the even set. And this is in the odd set. And now we can add either this pair of edges or this pair of edges to T. And I'm going to add the latter. So I'm going to add these two edges to T. And this node is going to be added to the even set, and this node to the odd set. And we can see that we can't continue, so we stop here. Now, there are some properties that we can write down immediately. The first is that every node in the tree is joined by an M alternating path to R. And R is the only M exposed node in the tree. Also, if you look at the way the even set and the odd set get built, each iteration, we add one node to the even set and one node to the odd set. And since the even set begins with one node, the number of nodes in the even set at the end will be exactly one more than the number of nodes in the odd set. And we can also see from the way the edges are added to T, every node in the odd set has degree 2. And so the first four properties here summarize what I've just said. Now for the last one, if you take two nodes in the tree, and if neither node is in the path from R to the other node, then you can see that the path joining R and U in T, and the path joining R and W in T, must meet at a node in the even set. And that's clear because they cannot meet at a node in the odd set because every node in the odd set has degree 2. So how do we make use of the M alternating tree to find an M augmenting path? Let's go back to this example. Here, we see that there's an edge coming out of this even node to an M exposed node. And we have an M augmenting path here because R is M exposed as well. So the key is, if there exists a node in the even set that is joined to a node not in the tree T, then the path from R to V is an M augmenting path. Notice that V cannot be M covered because if it was M covered, we would have added UV and the matching edge containing V to the tree. So we wouldn't have stopped growing the tree at that point. So if we have such a case, we can find an M augmenting path. But what if that's not the case? Now two things can happen. We can be in the case when every edge that has one end in the even set has the other end in the odd set. 
and we call the tree frustrated. And the result says that if T is a frustrated M alternating tree, then there's no perfect matching. Now, if the graph is bipartite, if this is not the case, then the tree must be frustrated. The reason is that if you have an edge that joins two nodes in the even set, then you'll get all cycle, and so the graph is not bipartite. So it can look like this, or it can look like this. In both cases, you have an odd cycle. And that basically is how you solve the perfect matching problem in bipartite graph. You roll the m alternating tree, see if there's any m augmenting path by looking for this. And if not, your tree is frustrated, and you can conclude that there's no perfect matching. But if the graph is not bipartite, we might not be in this situation, and the tree might not be frustrated. And this is what makes the perfect matching problem in non-bipartite graphs a bit tricky. And we'll see how to deal with that in a later video.